I know that this guy is a lot better than the other guys I've played, but still, I mean, just to play so, just completely out of whack. It's really vexing. I mean, I'm just constantly doubting myself. And it's all a total mess. So I'm just assuming that I was doing fine in, in a couple of these games. Yeah, this is a very strange ground to have a theoretical discussion. Hmm. Can I take again? B5. Knight B6. Yeah, it's pretty insane just to play that exact same position. But I got to have been doing at least pretty okay the previous game, right? I really do feel that. Okay, I got knight B6, right? Let me try that. Blundering again. Knight, you can take on D and C5. So what I was thinking about was takes, and now knight C5, and then I take, and then I go rook D5. This is also a blunder, by the way, because I didn't see that E7 was hanging. So, so bad. It's still not a disaster for me. But I could, ooh, maybe Bishop A3 is it's a good move. Bishop is not hanging. What am I thinking about? What am I even thinking about? Okay, I'm trying this and then go knight d5. But I'm, I don't believe it too much. That's probably clever. Take, and then I go rook c5. It's got to go b6, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna try and keep the knight on the board. I could have gone knight d5, probably forcing the trade, and then would have been fairly dryish, but I feel like my chances are not too bad here from a practical point, point of view, so I'm gonna roll the dice just a bit. Yeah, that's a very good move. Yeah, I probably cannot take a5. No, I cannot do that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and hustle here. Oh, now I'm gonna trade. Okay, I'm gonna accept the draw, of course. <laughs> 